Okay, good afternoon, dear traders. Let me know if you can hear me well. Can you hear me? Okay, great. On behalf of IFC Markets, I welcome you to the webinar Reverse Spread as a Way to Sympathetic Volatility. Thank you again, FX Street, for this nice opportunity for discussion. So here you can find some brief information about me and supplementary articles that may arouse your interest. Please turn your attention uh, to this article. River Spreads, Find the Trend, released in June issue of Futures Magazine application. Today I will discuss in detail ideas firstly incorporated in this paper. I would like to note that classical markets will be considered in this presentation as well. The webinar gives a short description of trading approach based on pairs trading and spread expansion of two closely correlated assets. I would like to remark that a suggested strategy is based exclusively on technical and statistical analysis basis. It means that no fundamentals are involved directly in trading decisions and no subjective elements are used while opening positions. However, we use a fundamental approach for composition of trading pair and searching of volatility. A concept of synthetic volatility will be disclosed below. Trend following concept suggests dynamic stop loss level shift without profit limitation. The composition, uh, uh, the position is kept until the trend is changed and the inverse order is opened. The trend following strategy uses the market momentum and allows taking profit in the long term and large scale trends. The natural obstacles to the strategy are the long-term low volatility sideways movement, flats, and structural shifts in the market. We discuss a possible decision of this problem by composing a synthetic instrument that wittingly possesses trend behavior with long-term memory. In this case, trader monitors a synthetic market structure by instruments of technical or statistical analysis. Today, we focus on following controversial points how to control volatility structure with use of statistical analysis, how to compose reverse spread with internal negative correlation, why are reverse spreads distinguished by long-term trends, and is synthetic instrument convenient for trend-following trading system? So, there is a conventional division of classical trading systems in two limit classes, mean reversion and trend-following, as you know. Here, two opposite situations are represented. First one, the price lies below a moving average line, classical trend of British pound. Another one, reversion of mean average for euro franc. The same trading instrument may demonstrate both types of behavior and trader has to make decision what type of technique is to be applied. Sometimes there is no obvious bias of mean reversion or momentum. Stagers appear in complex and unpredictable way. That suggests its decision is a pairs trading or spread trading approach. Each instrument inside its spread hides a relationship between the basic and quoted assets. Some traders, for example, believe that euro and franc currencies are closely connected and therefore are comfortable for mean reversion, while British pound against Canadian dollar spread demonstrate sharp trend behavior. None of these models exist in the pure form but may prevail under certain market conditions. For instance, instruments based on mean reversion model mostly demonstrate market efficiency with normal distribution of returns. Rallies are rare, short-lived, and often false. Currency pairs, euro franc, USD CAD can be mentioned as particular examples. So, pairs trading. Spread, a spread composition based on the momentum model can be a possible way to follow the trend effectively. Let us imagine Google Apple stock spread formed by the shares of two high-tech competitors. It can be easily shown that under certain conditions this instrument is distinguished by unsustainable flat market with long-term trends and short-living flats. Our preliminary hypothesis is that assets competitors have to belong to the single specific demand segment. However, they should demonstrate business independence at the same time. Google Apple spread 
is a perfect stock example, attractive for market neutrality approach. If both assets have equal market sensitivity, the spread depends on comparative characteristics of assets, reporting indicators, dividend, the dividend payments, and so on. Dotcom crisis is not dangerous for such instruments. A few additional examples. It is known that use of soybean as meat substitute may create situation when demand for both products is interchangeable. Considering a constant or slowly changing demand on the market, we may assume an inverse relationship between feeder cattle futures and soybean uh, futures through the win lose model. In case of constant supply, it can lead to inverse relation between the feeder cattle and soybean futures. Supply is inertial and reacts slowly relatively to the demand. It is explained by production capacity, staff capacity, and other slow industrial parameters. It can be assumed that such a situation arises regularly. Therefore, our hypothesis is that in case of stable market supply and substitution demand, rise in soybean futures provokes the decrease in frozen in feeder beef and vice versa. Which way to turn it depends on consumer income, health, diet, fashion, vegetarian fashion, feeding costs, and so on and so on. The mechanism of all other fundamental factors is not important for trading, as we can consider only comparison factors. Using this method of best trading with inverse spreads allows significantly simplifying the fundamental analysis. Another example, the mixed spread of competitive assets such as stocks of cola and futures of frozen orange. It is worth to note that in volume terms, a natural, natural orange juice is an average 1.5 two times more expensive than beverages produced by Coca-Cola. It is no surprise that orange consumption decreased by 14% 40, 40, in the crisis beginning and in the period of 2007-2012. Moreover, this happened when Coca-Cola company revenues started growing faster than they did before the crisis, reaching 50% growth within 2007-2012. If we compare the growth of cola stock price and orange concentrate futures, we'll see the situation is sharper. The cola stock rised by 46%, while only 2% for orange. So, after figuring out the main fundamental hypothesis, we try to find the optimal market situation where the position on the pair instrument could be opened. Our task is to determine the period where the inverse relation between the dynamics of competitive assets is expressed. Correlation analysis is one of the most affordable approaches used for the disclosure of assets tie up. The correlation index lies in the range between minus one and one and is formed inside the historical sample volume. It can be used as natural statistical oscillator instead of RSI or MACD. Let us consider a signal 20-day correlation index here based on, uh, or based on feeder cattle soybean spread. Feeder cattle uh, futures are traded against soybean futures. On the bigger figure above you may see the, um, you may see the uh, feeder, cattle, uh, feeder cattle candlesticks and correlation chart below. The pair correlation is imported to MetaTrader platform and is attached to feeder cattle CFD. Quotes of CFD are provided by IFC markets. Correlation express the connection between soybean and feeder cattle futures in 20 days time frame. We are looking for inverse spread stages and that is why we need at least negative correlation periods lower than the zero level. This one. The areas of negative correlation for historical periods of 20, 2011 till 2014 are marked in yellow color. We may select three areas of reverse spread behavior. It should be noted that negative correlation shows the trend behavior, but it doesn't guarantee a continuation of existing trend. Reverse spreads only raise a probability that a signal of trend development is correct, and breakout is not probably false. So the chart of F cattle soybean spread has been composed with use of daily open close prices for one contract of feeder cattle related to the price of soybean contract. 
the instrument has been composed through PCI interface of NetTradex trading platform, another platform I used uh, in my strategy. The interface screenshot is represented here. Uh, each instrument of a trading pair is added through the market watch section. Volumes are defined in the second column. After that, you can add, add this instrument to the general list of instruments and just trade it as usual. Process of instrument composition takes about 10 minutes and several clicks only. Historical quotes are defined by relation of F cattle and one soybean lot. Note that dollar volumes of long short positions coincide during each trading operation. The model of cross course is used, like Euro franc. It means that purchase, that means that purchase on thousand dollar of soybean futures correspond to sale of thousand dollar of feeder cattle futures. Okay, here is a screenshot of F cattle soybean spread. Uh, uh, Trade platform. Only the candle body is represented here because high low prices are not defined by platform. Uh, corresponding reverse spread areas are marked in yellow as well. It can be noted that correlation index allows ignoring flat regions marked in red rectangles. Let us evaluate filtering properties of correlation index um, and uh, uh, here we use simple moving average indicator. We use 20 days uh, time frame. So, uh, uh, on the left side of this slide, you can hear the simple interface for opening the position in that trading, uh, trading platform. So, a single position is open close when two conditions are satisfied simultaneously. The daily close price lies in the reverse region spread region here. Second, a segment connecting two neighbors, uh, two neighboring close prices has crossed the moving average, like, like here, uh, for buy and down for sell. Here for buy and here for sell. A position should be necessarily closed only trend motion is completed or or an inverse spread area is finished. So the position is closed here just because the trend region is, com is completed and the correlation drops below zero and the correlation drops uh, above zero, moves above zero. An efficiency of suggested approach has been evaluated for the historical period of 2010 till 2012 for the daily F cattle soybean chart. Trading has been simulated in, Mat in MATLAB uh, programming platform. Commissions are not taken into account. So profits and losses are expressed in PIPs without any risk management scheme or leveraging. The goal of backtesting is just to show a vitality of this approach in the long-term trend following. It can be noted that the application of reverse spread technique has allowed increasing a fraction of profitable trades from 28% for simple averaging technique to 50% by filtering mean reverse stages of market. A yield expressed in PIPs has grown by four times. Four times and frequency of trading at the same time decreased by 70%. That allows decreasing a psychological pressure of trading significantly. A profit loss ratio is comparable in both cases uh, because the same instrument is used for trend following. The represented example is not surely an instruction of profitable quantitative scheme. It's rather an illustration of reverse spread application for, commod for commodity market. This approach can be developed and modified with modified uh, risk control scheme and more complicated indicators. So this, uh, this page is for those who need quant quantitative confirmation. Reverse spread allows artificial increasing of volatility when uh, market volume is too low for trend following. Spread trading effect is holding to opposite position, long and short, 
instead of one position. That is why a trader works with more saturated market. The property can be illustrated by comparison of a spread instrument and quoted asset volatility. An opening of spread loan position can be decomposed into two trades, basic asset purchase and quoted asset sale. Position closing then leads to a reverse operation. A yield of spread trade is the sum of elementary yields expressed in pips, basic and quoted positions. According to a statistical approach, we may consider a standard deviation as a measure of asset volatility. Considering the, considering the random function properties following relation for the final deviation can be given, it is noted that spread volatility is necessarily higher than the one of the quoted asset or one of or basic asset. The more correlation, the more volatility may be absorbed by our system. This property gives trader additional advantage for artificial liquidity filling. Trader may successfully avoid gaps and improve the relation between commission expenses and average profits. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention.